this is your Kalpana here. So in this video, we are going to see a problem from exponential series. Let's get started. Find the sum of the infinite series 1 plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial and plus so on. Okay. Solution. So here we are asked to find the sum of infinite series 1 plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial and plus so on. Right. We have e power x equals to 1 plus x by 1 factorial plus x squared by 2 factorial plus so on plus x power n by n factorial plus so on. Right? So now put x equals to 1. Then we get e power 1 which is equals to e equals to 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 squared is 1, 1 by 2 factorial plus so on plus 1 power n is 1. Again, you'll get plus 1 by n factorial plus so on. Okay. So, let us consider up to 4 terms. Okay. 1 by 3 factorial up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times there. Plus so on. Okay. Now, put x equals to minus 1. Consider it as equation 1, okay. Now, put x equals to minus 1 in 1. Then, we'll get e power minus 1 equals to 1 plus minus 1 by 1 factorial plus minus 1 whole square by 2 factorial plus here you will be having x cube by 3 factorial plus x power 4 by 4 factorial plus so on plus okay plus minus 1 cube by 3 factorial plus 1 minus 1 power 4 by 4 factorial Plus so on. So you will get 1 minus 1 by 1 factorial minus 1 square is 1. So you will get plus 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 whole cube is minus 1. So you will get minus 1 by 3 factorial minus 1 whole power 4 is 1. So you will get plus 1 by 4 factorial and plus so on. Okay. So now consider it as 2. And this is 3. So from 2 and 3. From 2 and 3. We get. Let's add 2 and 3. So you'll get E. So you can write E inverse as 1 by E. Right. So you'll get E plus. 1 by e equals 2. Simply I am adding 2 and 3. So in 2 you are having 1 plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial and plus so on plus in equation 2 you are having 1 minus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial. Sorry, minus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial minus plus and so on. Okay. So now we are going to add this, right? Okay, so we'll get E plus E inverse equals to E inverse itself 1 by E. So which is equals to 
1 plus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial plus so on plus 1 minus 1 by 1 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial minus plus and so on. Let it be. Okay. So now you can cancel plus 1 by 1 factorial and minus 1 by 1 factorial and plus 1 by 3 factorial and minus 1 by 3 factorial. Okay. Likewise, you will cancel some terms. So finally, you will get 1 plus 1, 2 plus 2 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial is 2 by 4 factorial plus so on. Okay. Or let's write, let's include one more step here. So you'll get 1 plus 1 plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial plus so on. So this is equals to 1 plus 1, 2 plus 1 plus 1. So you're having 2, right? 2, 1 by 2 factorial. So 2 times 1 by 2 factorial plus you're having 2, 1 by 4 factorial. 2 times 1 by 4 factorial. Okay. So which is equal to 2 plus 2 by 2 factorial plus 2 by 4 factorial. Or you can say 1 plus 1, 2 plus 2 factorial by 1 plus 1, 2. 2 by 2 factorial plus 1 plus 1, 2 by 4 factorial. Okay. So now take two common, you'll get 1 plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial plus 1 by 6 factorial plus see here you're having even right. So you'll get continuously even factorials 8 factorial plus so on. Okay. So you're having E plus E inverse equals to 2 into 1 plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial, plus 1 by 6 factorial, plus 1 by 8 factorial, and plus so on. So from this, you can write E plus E inverse by 2 equals 2. I'm just taking this 2 to left hand side. So I'll get E plus E inverse by 2 equals to 1 plus 1 by 2 factorial, plus 1 by 4 factorial, plus 1 by 6 factorial, plus so on. Right? So, I could write it as 1 plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial plus 1 by 6 factorial plus so on equals to 1 by 2 into E plus E inverse. Okay. Therefore, 1 plus 1 by 2 factorial plus 1 by 4 factorial plus so on equals to 1 by 2 into E plus E inverse. So therefore, the sum of the given infinite series is 1 Okay, 1 by 2 into E plus E inverse. Okay.
So we have seen a problem from exponential series in this video. Hope you will understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.